something called the invisible jump rope. You're going to pretend you have a jump rope and you're going to mirror the patterns that you see with your feet. Okay? If you do have a jump rope and you have space outside, you take your Chromebook outside and do this outside. Perfect. Uh, if you're going to do it in your house with a jump rope, make sure your parents are okay with that. If you don't have a jump rope, it's okay. That's why it's called an imaginary jump rope. All right? So, what you're going to see here is you'll do the jumps for a set time, you'll have a break, and then you'll have a new jump skill. Really try to concentrate on those patterns with the feet, because when we come back and we can start using jump ropes, guess what? You'll have the footwork down. So it'll be easier to add the rope later. All right, have fun, and we'll see you next time.